On the St. Patrick's Day, we are bringing you Top That Trade to find out which of our traders is a lucky guy. Joining us now is Fox Business Network contributor Phil Flynn and Alan Nuckman, an options trading pro. Here we go, guys, with round number one, hike hysteria. The Fed plans a couple more interest rate hikes, so why is the market going crazy? More rate well, hikes! Looks, you know, it's going to happen. They're, they've talked about two more, but two more. there's also going to be a stealth rate hike. Three more next year. So, so what do you mean stealth rate hike? What the heck are you talking about? Stealth rate hike. This is what's going to happen. They're talking about... Is this about, from aliens or no, from the no, Fed? No, no. This is... Miss Yellen is talking oh. about unwinding some of that bond portfolio, oh, yeah. and that will actually boost rates indirectly. Absolutely. But I'll tell you the real reason why I think the market reacted very positively, they were worried about Because it's more. a done deal? Yeah. If you look at the Fed fund futures, you know, a couple weeks ago, there was like a 40% chance they were going to raise rates. And when it went to 100% chance, basically, and they actually raised rates, Certainly. people were fearful that they're going to start raising rates every month. And the word that came back that the Fed said, was that we're going to do it gradually, gradually. And so when the market heard that, they can deal with the 3% interest rate in 2018. And, and that's why the market rallied today. Round number two, smart money. Bill Ackman lost $3 billion on Valiant Pharmaceuticals and Carl Icahn is betting against a rally run. What lessons do you learn from these investing billionaire giants? It, it proves that rich people can lose money as well. It's not just the they average got, Joe. Ackman got married to that trade. He should have got out a yeah. long time ago. He admitted that. You should, obviously, yeah. a $3 billion loss, you right. have to have $100 billion to be able to, to lose that. Right. But it's still or dumb. Or $3 billion and one. But that's a different it's, story. It's still dumb. But yeah, the bottom line is when we talk about a loss like that, big guys make big bets. They go the wrong way. I think it was an anti-Trump trade. It was an anti-American trade because they didn't believe in the stock market. They bet wrong. They paid. Moving on to round number three. Bull birthday, happy birthday. The bull market celebrated eight years with 40 stocks in the S&P 500 having 1,000% returns. So now you know the question, pick a play from the fantastic 40. I think we need to have party hats for this. Looking you know, at what about those numbers party? is amazing. Did you know yeah. that almost every company in the S&P gained more than 50% it's over been those last, been last eight years. It's been incredible, been incredible. And the worst performing one in the last sector, Real Estate Trust, GGG, was up, what, 1,000% or something? It was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. so it was, it's been quite a performance. So the lesson to be learned, as you just said, is don't fight the stock market, obviously. Who's going to say that you know the next eight years are going to continue this? But we've got very strong momentum. And out of those stocks, we, these are stocks we've talked about here many times. Apple, right. Starbucks, Ulta, which is makeup, right. hair product, right. a Constellation brand. So these are things we've talked about here numerous times. Let's but, pick one that we didn't talk about that's on that list that I thought was very interesting. I think it's going to do very well. What about Royal Caribbean? Do you think about that? I want to go on a cruise. How about you? Today's bonus round question has an Irish theme in it. So yay, exactly. Irish. All right. You Irish absolutely. Eyes are smiling. Can you name Green. the company that has ties to Ireland? Is it Diageo, Ryanair, or Party City? Party City. It's all three not of Diageo. them. I know how she operates. I've oh. got her psychology. It's all of them. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm sure they all do, but I, you know, I think this this is a trick question because See? two of them are about alcohol. One isn't. I'm going with Party City because the Irish know how to party. The answer is Ryanair. It was not a trick question this time, gentlemen. I <laughs> oh, man. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you guys. Business first AM flies back after this.